Well, do we have a rhino governor in West Virginia? I didn't think it was possible, but my gosh, it is. We're going to get into all the details of this, guys. Off the top, we mentioned, if you would like to make a generous donation to our ministry, the links to do so are down below. We are demonetized here on YouTube. They don't support Christian conservative content creators like myself. You guys can help us out in a major way. We have PayPal or Patreon set up for you down there. Even just five bucks a month on Patreon, you get bonus content. We also make sure to include the links for the YouTube videos up there to make sure you get alerted every time new content comes out. Then when you're there, just comment on the video censorship free. Avoid YouTube blocking and hiding the comments that you guys write. Then make sure you subscribe to me on Rumble. That's our backup in case we're kicked off on YouTube. So go check out what we post there. Also, please like this video, share it, hit the bell, subscribe, and wear the glasses because I'm blind. I got to talk about West Virginia Governor Jim Justice because Jim Justice, who's a Republican, again, but a, a rhino, uh, sat down in an interview with uh, ABC on Sunday and, and talked about <laughs> that Republicans who refuse to get the corona jab are in a death lottery. You want to talk about fear-mongering? You had it right here in this interview with Justice. Somebody who, you know, when the, the jab first rolled out, you know, he talked about all sorts of incentives for those in West Virginia to go and get the jab. He even talked about giving, you know, those under the age of 35 a savings bond of like $100 and then other giveaways as well, just like all the other states were doing. You know, West Virginia wasn't the only one. But to see this coming from someone that's a Republican governor, it's just disheartening. You shouldn't be, you know, forcing people with this kind of language. And then you sit down and interview today because the whole reason is because, you know, they're concerned because all of a sudden now nobody is running in West Virginia to get the jab anymore. The percentages are going down. That's right. And West Virginia is behind the national average. <laughs> Let me just say, good on you, West Virginians who are refusing to get this. Good for you. You're not taking the bait. You're not letting the little carrot that's dangling in front of you. You're not taking a bite out of it. You're smarter than that and good for you. But your governor, he's not very happy about it at all. This guy actually sat in an interview and he talked about how, look, there's two lotteries going on now. We have lotteries for incentives and giveaways. And then, well, there's those that are in the death lottery. I hate to say this, but people are going to die. If they do not go out and get this jab, they are going to, he just, just says that without any sort of, he, he doesn't bring forth any sort of facts, any, any sort of information, nothing. He just point blank says people are going to die. And then he takes it even just a little bit further than that by saying, I don't know what we need to do. It's almost as if we need to just lead them like a horse to water and then just push their head in at that point, almost to just make them do it. That's what he said. That is what he said. I'll put the link down below. So what's next then? Is West Virginia gonna roll out the the jab passports? No, because originally, you know, the, the language there was that they weren't going to do that. Now I know they have a, a huge number of Republicans in the legislature that I'm sure would not agree with justice if he decided to go that way. But that kind of language right there saying that we just need to lead them like a horse to water and then just, you know, just force their head on in to go ahead and get it. Wow. You want to talk about language of the new world order. You have it right here in justice. You guys need a new governor there in West Virginia. Wow. I didn't think I'd say that about justice. I used to like this guy. Not anymore. Not anymore. Uh, very concerning. People like him. You got Mike DeWine there in Ohio. You got Asa Hutchinson down there in Arkansas. You got Brad Little in Idaho. Uh, you got Ducey in Arizona. I mean, I could go on and on and on. We need to wipe these people out and get true conservative leadership in these states. My gosh, what Justice was saying. It's just sick. It's sick. A death lottery. He's, he's telling all, right, all you Republicans there in West Virginia, that's what he says about you. If you're not going to go out and get the jab, sounds like a great governor to me, right? And I want to hear from those of you too. If you live in West Virginia, I'd love to hear you have you chime in on this. Look, this is all leading towards Revelation chapter 13. Guys, open up your Bible, read what it says. I can't get into the specifics, at least in this setting, because with this conversation, because they'll get me in trouble for it. It's happened to me once already. But this is why we do these videos. We talk about the prophetic news headlines that are happening around the world because we are in the last days and Jesus is coming back soon. 
Do you know him as your Lord and Savior? That's the question I have for you. If not, this is your opportunity. You start by first acknowledging that you're a sinner. We all are. But God gave his son, Jesus Christ, to die on the cross for the sins of all the world. He died and rose again for you and me. He paid that cost. But what you have to do when you have a role in this, you have to repent of your sin. And that means to turn from your sin. Not just to say you're sorry, but to turn from a lifestyle or a habit, whatever it is in your life that's counter to what the Word of God says. You ask Jesus to forgive you. He'll wipe that sin away. The Bible says he won't even remember it anymore. And then you invite Jesus into your life to be your Lord and Savior. Now, when you do that, you become born again, a child of God. You will have eternal life. Trust me when I tell you there is no greater decision you will ever make than the one you do to give your life to Christ. And I pray you make that decision today. I'll have more for you guys on this down below. Again, I want to hear from you. Are you in West Virginia? Anybody there? What do you think about what Justice said? Just anybody in general. Also, don't forget the links to donate to our ministry are there as well. It's a great blessing if you can help us out. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you. And I'll talk with you soon.